What's up YouTube, Christo here. Um, I've got a quick unboxing. Kind of had this planned out. Um, I just wanted to see when they'd actually arrive and um, I had to wait a day to unbox one of them, which for me is uh, a long time. Um, I, I just love it. Like the, the feeling of opening something new that's arrived in the mail or, you know, you've been waiting for is, uh, I don't know, great feeling, of course. Um, anyone out there that's ever bought perfume mail order knows exactly what I'm talking about, I'm sure. So we'll get to those in a minute. Um, quickly, my send to the day, I'm wearing Bois d'Orage from Frederick Mall, aka French Lover. Uh, beautiful, uh, woody, kind of wet, earthy fragrance. Um, it's getting cool now. Today is gorgeous. It's sunny but it's nice and cool which is to me like the absolute perfect uh daytime weather to me um it's a little under 20 degrees like uh, i think it's about 17 or so i apologize to Amer my american friends my fahrenheit conversion is very poor but it's just like a really nice cool sunny fall day basically and um i thought this would be great i've been wanting to wear this for a while now but uh, it's been really hot just up until the last couple days. So, a couple things to unbox here. Um, do this one first. I'll do the smaller one first because this one's kind of special. I'll talk about that when we get there. This I picked up from Strawberry Net. Um, I have to admit, I'm really just not digging that site as much as I used to. They used to have some decent prices and some... Uh, harder to find stuff, but uh, recently their prices have just gone up and up and up. And uh, it's to the point where I can buy most stuff locally at retail for about the same price, maybe a little bit more. Um, Strawberry Net doesn't give samples, uh, like none at all. Usually when you buy online, they'll give you some crappy like Calvin Klein or Kenneth Cole samples or something like that. Strawberry Net don't give any. Uh, so this is kind of like my last buy from them, unless they start stocking something um, really new that's very expensive. A uh, bit of makeup for my wife. I thought it sounded broken, but I think that's just a little brush. But yeah, so I got some makeup for my wife. That's her thing. And this, I don't think I've mentioned many times on my channel. I have never owned a bottle of this, but I have been kind of fascinated with it for quite a while. It's, uh, oh, there's a little makeup bag. Um, yeah, I love this fragrance. I, I think I've mentioned it a couple times. Uh, I can't really remember when or what video, but um, it's been on my radar for a really long time, and I got to try it last year in Toronto, finally, and uh, I was like, I need to buy that. Finally, Bit the bullet and picked up a bottle. This is, I call it M Mink, Mink, MM Ink, however you want to say it. Uh, basically, it's a collaboration between Byredo and a European publication, uh, hence the ink reference and the kind of ink blotches, uh, kind of a reference to writing. And um, this is a very, very unique scent. Um, I'm not overly big on the Byredo house. Um, honestly, I find a lot of their stuff is quite amateur smelling, um, poorly assembled, uh, and they're very heavy on synthetics, which aren't a problem, but um, I find a lot of them are just really simple um, ISOE, um, just kind of like generic cedar, and um, not much else than that. Kind of a cut and paste house in my opinion but that's just me they do have a pretty big cult following uh so this to me is by far the best one i quite like this packaging it's different than the other byredos um, i've owned one other actually two others um oud immortel and oud accord oud oud accord i think it's accord oud um i didn't like each of either of those uh this i love i tried it in the store a few times and I actually got a sample to take, and uh, I've pretty much finished it, so I thought with fall coming, it was about time that I get a full bottle. Um, 
This, if you're not familiar, it does kind of have um, inky qualities. Uh, to me, it more smells like uh, like an antique parchment. Uh, there's a lot of incense, patchouli, uh, strange metallic notes. People compare this to uh, Secretions Magnifique. And I can definitely kind of pick up elements of that in the sense that uh, Secretions is kind of metallic and cold, um, but this definitely doesn't have the milkiness that that does, which is really what puts me off of uh, Secretions. Really interesting. I love this. I cannot wait to wear it for the fall. Um, probably give it a whirl next week if the weather stays like this, which it's supposed to. Put that down there. Now this, I have been waiting for this for a long time. Um, this is connected to my first and true love, my oldest hobby, music. I've been into music since I was in primary school. I was listening to the Beastie Boys when I was in like grade four. Um, Ice Cube, I remember listening to Ice Cube and NWA when I was in primary school. And um, it's the one thing that I've never given up, that I've always been into indie music. I've always been into just music in general. And uh, recently, just like in the last couple years, now that I'm back in Canada, um, I do actually have access to really good music again. Um, Indonesia, where I used to live. Uh, you know, people were aware of kind of underground and indie music, but it was a really difficult place to buy it. Um, and now with the kind of CD becoming obsolete, which is amazing because 20 years ago, it was just like, wow, the CD changes everything. And actually cassette tapes are actually starting to get really trendy again, which is really interesting because I never really saw them as overly, you know, functional. Like, I find them quite frustrating. So this is my, let's see. Brand new. Trying to get it out. Build the suspense. This is my brand new turntable. I have been really getting into music again recently. Uh, there's so many amazing indie record stores around here. Um, there are other parts of this, but I'll get those out later. Um, and. Uh, there's actually a few really good ones just uh, walking distance from my house here and I've been buying records recently and kind of doing a lot of research on uh, stereo systems, uh, turntables, receivers, speakers, etc, etc. And I finally found the uh, turntable I wanted. I ordered it. I had to wait a couple weeks for it to come in, uh, but it's here and I love it. I have not actually heard this play, but I have read spectacular reviews. Uh, the guy at the music store where I picked this up, he said these are just the best in the category uh, for kind of higher entry level. Um, said they're just amazing. Uh, it is a Project RPM1 Carbon. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful turntables. Um, really high quality. Um, very minimal, minimalist uh, design. Um, I really like it. Very unorthodox looking for a turntable. Um, yeah, I've got lots of new records that I'm really excited to hear. Some old favorites and some new stuff that I'm not overly familiar with. Um, I'm definitely not giving up on perfume, but uh, with a few really big purchases recently, I'm kind of very surprisingly at a level where I'm almost content with my collection. Um, there's a few things I'd like to get rid of. There's a few things I would like to get, especially for winter and spring. But at the moment, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So I'm starting to invest more uh, time and money into 
music and trying to get back into that again. Um, so yeah, there you go. Really great unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely we'll have a few videos. Uh, I need to finish my top 10 uh, niche uh, fragrance houses video. I haven't forgotten about that. been really busy with school and stuff recently. But um, yeah, so uh, take care everyone and I'll see you around soon.